Everybody, I'm Cree Kelly and I'm with Bart Yasso, the mayor of running from Runner's World Magazine. I'm very excited. We caught up with him at the Quad Cities Marathon today and he is coming to Norfolk, Virginia the weekend of Veterans Day weekend, November 13th, to be with us for the inaugural Norfolk Freedom Half Marathon and 5K. Very important event. Bart, yep. we are so excited to have you there. Tell us why you're there. I'm excited to be there. One, I love this new event, Veterans Day weekend. It has a Navy connection, which I'm excited about. But my father was in the Navy, served in World War II. My father passed away in 2006, so I'm going to honor my father and spend time at this great race and hang out with you guys. And Manny is all energy. He's going to put on a great event. I'm really excited about it. Yeah, we're talking about Lieutenant Commander Manny Cordero, United States Navy, Navy active duty. And he's also establishing a scholarship fund in the honor and the name yeah. of your father. Yeah, which I'm really excited about. My father was. You know, it, 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 he talked all about World War II, how he you know, was in the South Pacific, and what the Navy meant to him, how it changed his life. And, and unfortunately not here, but that's how you got to honor someone that was part of your life. So yeah, I'm excited we, about it. Yeah, we kind of live on with that. And, and you're doing well. I'm very excited about your book, Life on the Run. My Life on the Run. My yeah. Life on the Run uh, by Barry Yasso. It's published by Rodale Press. A, this is my plug, not your plug, yep. my plug, because I really like the book. But some of the message in there, it's very important. And for one thing, it's dedicated to your brother. It is dedicated to my brother. And, and my message is really never limit where running can take you. And I mean that physically, emotionally, spiritually, however you use the power of this great sport. Uh, physically, it's taken me all over the world. It changed my life all to the better, and I've been blessed with one of the greatest jobs in the world, and I love it. Yeah, well, I, I agree, and I think that uh, you can tell we're in an airport, by the way, so hopefully <laughs> you can hear all of this. But running is is just in, ingrained in both of us, and, and, yeah. and you've been at Runners World for, I want to say, almost 30 years. 25 years, and yeah. It seems like forever, and in and, and such a good way, and, and such a positive culture. Every weekend you go somewhere, what do you hear from runners about running? What's changed? What's the same? Yeah, what I see every weekend is people that overcome so much just to get to the starting line. The, the, the things they overcome in their life just to get to the starting line. And then the race is the celebration and the finish line is the culmination of what they set out to do. And I witness that every weekend and it's very, very powerful. And I always, people always ask me, how do you do this every weekend and put up with all the travel? And I always tell them, if you were in my shoes one weekend, and you do, and Not, you have been in my shoes. Amen. Then you get it. You physically see these people, what they've done and overcome, and then you see them celebrate the finish. It's so special, and I, I love doing it. Me too, and I'm going to keep doing it. You're going to keep doing it. One of the things I wanted to ask you about is all these charity partner programs. The Norfolk Freedom Half Marathon has a charity partner program. As of this moment, there's over 20 charities that have signed up, and they've got runners running and making money for that charity. You see that all over the world. I see that all over the world. Yeah, the charity component is fantastic, and you know it's just it takes an emotion into the race. It's not about one foot in front of the other. It's truly the emotion that it brings out people. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're excited to have you there. We're uh, not expecting. Can't wait. We're not expecting to set set any national records there nope. this time. No, nope. no. Just but, get it going, and then it'll take it, momentum from yeah, there. Yeah, but I would encourage you, if you're a fan of Bar Yasso, you show up in Norfolk the weekend of the 13th of November. You will not be sorry. Plus, if you're into the medals, yeah, he is it's got, a cool medal. It's, it's a superstar bling bling medal. So we're glad to have you with us, Bart. Safe travels, and we'll see you yep. in Norfolk. See you in Norfolk. Weekend of November 13th. November 13th.